We're in, where are we? I have no We're in Old Forge at a Caro and Janelle on the recommendation of a fan friend. Hopefully they got kind of good recommendations. Supposedly it's supposed to be good. Italian, Where is it from? Italian food, I can't remember. The Italian. banquet room? Yeah, we're here. It's kind of crazy. Jay, Jay funded a scene. Jay, how's that? I mean, like we wouldn't have even been on this trip. Like, it's true. Like, oh yeah, that's so true. Brought us here, so all yeah. these little things. You yeah, know I mean? like all these little decisions that never, you know, amount. Like never think amount to anything. Are all of us right here. I like the bar. I'm really hoping we're surprised by some dope ass Italian food. Bean dip's good. Here comes the pizza. This is the pizza capital of the world. Oh, no, that's okay. It's for the pizza. We, we just we, discovered that this is the pizza capital of the world. Yeah. We're just driving through. So. And we had New York City pizza today, so we had a great comparison. Yeah. Yeah. You don't disrespect Nice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Looks great. <laughs> Solid yeah, that veal parm is looking legit. We're out, back to the road. I got the gazai mas. Doma, doma, dude. This, I feel like this could be a movie. I feel like we're gonna get shot by mobsters. Yeah, like the car's parked out back. We get in, it explodes. Dude, that knew you from 15 years ago. Yeah, I'm just a casualty of war. Hey, dirty arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sheila says hello. <laughs> Who the fuck is Sheila? Some chick I've ever called back. Thought, you are. I thought, you are insane. Wait, when no, I, you're just an insane you person. You got me excited when you go. Oh, we're gonna be up there, Buffalo. We'll get a nice dinner in Buffalo. So I immediately was like, all right, I'm gonna find us an Airbnb in Buffalo. We'll get a nice dinner. We'll stay in a fucking castle. We're gonna make this fun. Then as it got much later, it's not happening. I have a castle in Buffalo, which is honestly past Attica. It's an hour and a half past Attica. It's not somehow shaved that much time off, but it's not that far. Cause when I saw from our exact house to Attica, it was 37 minutes in the morning. Just shaved a lot of fucking time off of this thing. So essentially we have a five bedroom mansion Waiting for us. Waiting right for now. us in Buffalo that we're not gonna make it to. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just gonna stop and probably stay at a Red hood, roof. hood, hood <laughs> hotel in Attica so we can get more sleep. So. There it is. Talking to Brady, you filming me at the same time. Yeah, I'm filming Teddy. I don't know, but this is next to this. Stop human trafficking. I saw that on the wall. The front desk guy, when we told him we were coming from New York City, all of a sudden had a New York City accent. <laughs> oh shit, that's where you're from? Ah, did you catch a, did you catch a Broadway show? I shook Frank Sinatra's hand. All right. 6.39, we went to bed at like 4.39. Yeah. Two hours sleep. It's about to be a fun time up in Attica. We're both gonna be falling asleep, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. oh brutal up here. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful out here. This is God's country. 1.3 miles. Beautiful little neighborhood built around the prison here. It's crazy because the sky is beautiful today. <laughs> like, yeah. Like the, the sky over the... Yeah, it probably looks ill. Literally bringing cash in my fucking ID. I'm leaving my wallet. All oh, these people, they got Nikes. Let's go interview them. What you got? She already had an attitude at first, and we were both nice back, yeah. so she was like, okay, I'll stop being a fucking bitch. Do you have a number? It's like, how the fuck did I know? You ain't no regular visitor, lady. Oh, the Nikes, though. Oh, here's the bed. Oh, I got that goddamn Nikes, right? So I was like, you said, you said we have to have a VIN number. All right, 2% battery. We're on the side of uh, some highway, about 25 minutes from some tiny casino in the middle of upstate New York. Somewhere between the prison, going to the wrong prison. Oh, I don't even think I brought that up. We went to the wrong prison. We I, I did not. I took us to the wrong prison in Attica and after two hours of processing and paperwork, we found out that our friend was in the other prison. So we went there. At that point, Teddy lost his card. We don't know where his card is. Now we're at a casino and I'm the only one with money. Clouds look beautiful through the camera though. Yeah, that's it. We got 1% on the camera battery. We are at Tioga or Tioga down. 
All right, you want to carry the joint? Yeah. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this? It's the joint I rolled. It looks like a fucking Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Double-ended dynamite. You got to bite off both ends before you hit that fire. Here's the Belvedere. Thank God, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> That's the joint that you rolled. That was in honor of Diddy. That was Diddy showing us the size of the jail joints. This is eight times as big as this. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking... The jail joint was like the end of this That's a thing. jail ounce right there. I'm gonna drop this footage in and we're out of here, son. Back to the city. What did you do? Earn gambled this morning. I slept in. I finally got some sleep because I feel like it's been... Ridiculous overload of information in the last 90 hours. How much money did you lose? $60, that's it. Took 60 out of the ATM, lost it all. <laughs> Probably lost more like 120. No, I you know swear to God I did, you know dude. I told because I was going to take out 100 because I was like, whatever I'm going to do here, I'm just going to lose. You went in with a losing attitude. Well, yeah, because when I go with a yeah. winning attitude, it's like more pressure. I was like, whatever, if I lose $60 <laughs> and I hang out and have a coffee. And... I guess I understand what so you're saying. It's a life lesson, guys. Fuck a winning <laughs> attitude. Go in with a losing yeah, attitude. Pretend you're going to lose so you don't get so disappointed. Yeah. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that either. Just learn, do just, learn how to, just learn how to take losses better. Well, step one to taking losses better is minimizing your loss. Minimize the expectation. So. There is no spoon. Miles from the box in 14 minutes. The fuck are we waiting for B &H. here? B&H. Hey, B&H, you got my lens in stock. No, you don't. Quiet. It's just strangers. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Excuse me. You try to keep quiet. Just stop vlogging. God no! This is We're the time to vlog. We don't have enough footage. Look at the Ultra Boost ad. Right Teddy, there. look at the Ultra Boost ad yourself. I'm out here vlogging. Hold on. Let's go. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm. I've got it together. Oh shit! Oh shit! Teddy almost died. Got it on camera. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. I, I may be drunk, honest. but my camera skills are I on point right didn't now. almost died. I'm live, I'm live from New York. Not live. We're not live. We're not live. I'm the captain. Danny, what happened? What do you mean, what happened? No, no, no. And you both on second. Hey, come on. I don't know what happened. What did he, what did he not pay? He didn't pay me and he did it. What did he give you? I don't know. His passport? What? I don't know what the fuck ah, it is. What is it? It's a passport. It's bullshit guy. That's, That's fucked up. How much did he get you for? Nothing. He didn't give me nothing. He walking. How much did he owe you? Like $20. Uh, what the fuck just happened? New York. Holy shit. That shit is ill. Oh, he just got the guy. Crap. He might. Should we follow him? No, we should go to dinner. All right. <laughs> Fuck, dude. This is amazing. Are we on pranked right now? I have no idea. <laughs> but this is incredible. Back in the car, not only did he take him back, but he's taking him with him. The guy's going to jump out at the next spot. I, we should have got in with him. Hey, the YouTuber? No. This kid right here on the scooter just asked Ern if he was a YouTuber. <laughs> and he said, no, we're just on vacation. <laughs> I thought you'd be pissed because I've been talking about this all night. I would have been, been, but then I was wondering why he said it. He goes, ah, oh, cool, he went, Mimi gets oh, here, cool, cool, man. <laughs> Listen, that was amazing. Mimi, when you watch this later, you're going to say, oh, it's I didn't know it's, Ern was that drunk. It's been in slow-mo all day. No. Yeah, in slow-mo right now. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, stand up on the bus when it parks. Whoa, we're all over the what place. What are you talking about? Fuck <laughs> that shit. B-roll's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. B-roll's great. Let's not let's not discount the fact that I can still get nice shots, okay? Got it here. 
Got it with the Wagamama. I get the door and the thing. Get a little like that. Also, get a little of the sign. Next segment on the channel. Unsolicited interviews. Oh, stop. Put the camera away. Fucking waste a piece of shit. Still getting better fucking shots, I'm drunker. Still getting <laughs> better fucking shots. Hey, are you a YouTuber? <laughs> no. We're on vacation. Oh, cool, man. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> Let me get some B-roll. It turns out, you forgot, I really dropped the ball vlogging dinner. We're basically done at this point. Am I in focus? <laughs> Gyoza, ramen, which is finished. Mimi's got ramen because they brought it so late, it came way later. Service was whack. The worst service experience ever, but the food was great, the company was great. We had a good time anyway. We had a lot of gyoza. So, yeah, tell you telling her I used to wait the tables, and when I get bad service. Oh, how do you do something? Woohoo! You were almost taken out by that car. How do you feel? 15 minutes away from Magnolia. It closes in 13. We're hopping in a cab. I'm getting in. Let me in. Live here at fucking New York City, outside the subway, as you can see by the sign. Mimi's out here, we're waiting on Teddy, he's paying, she's out the shot. <laughs> Teddy's stepping out the cab with the yellow on yellow, let's get that cab fit, that NYC. <laughs> and here he comes, there he is. <laughs> the fancy part of the city, the, the tourist part of the city. I got banana pudding, tool. I'm a famous YouTube he's star. Not, he's, he's really not. He just wants to be, so we're... I'm trying to be. Trying. I hired this guy for the night. <laughs> this is YouTube yeah. tryout. People notice. look at you more when you hire someone to get a camera. Yeah. He has six subscribers. Well, he is my friend, but I paid for dinner. He has six subscribers. You did? <laughs> you paid for dinner? It's weird. He's got six subscribers, so if everybody here could just like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, if you could follow him, yeah. Thank you. Have a good night. We've left Mimi. We're getting drunk Ern home now. Ern's drunk. He's gonna walk out into traffic and get him to his bed before he tries to interview any more people on the street or embarrass himself or get arrested. He's already trying right now. I can see it in his eyes. Uh, good morning. Good morning. We're in New York City still. Today is our last day. Our flight's at 8, which means we gotta head to the airport like around 5. We gotta roll up all the weed that's left. <laughs> Smoke it all. Go say what's up and goodbye. I'm gonna see my man Joey Buzz. Go see JC one more time. That's probably gonna be about it. Grab some food, grab some drinks, hug some babies. Earn's on a business call. It's been non fucking stop this trip. Pretty exhausted. Have been pretty exhausted. But it's been good. It's great to see Jay. And Jay's called and just been nothing but happy. You know, it gave him new life. Those are his words, but uh, yeah, it was super cool. It's, all, it's given the situation, terrible situation. And going to prisons is always just like, I don't know, yesterday I felt like, well the day I went to prison I just like felt kind of like out of body experience, like tethered to my body in some way. I don't know, it's always a bummer. I hate the prison system, I hate I hate the way that families get destroyed and taxed and it just keeps on going for years and years and years past the bad decisions. Everything about it from coming to visit to accommodations to every, everything about it I think is terrible. I know there's a lot of politics behind that statement so it's not even what I'm saying because obviously there are some people that need to be removed from society. I don't have the answers for that. I just know that when I see my brother in a cage or anyone for that matter uh, there's a human part of me that feels sympathy and empathy. I just, it makes me uncomfortable. So, and it's made me uncomfortable my whole life. Even as a child asking my parents about, um, like, oh, well, why do we do this or why do we do that? Like, oh, murder is wrong, but we have war. Things that you ask when you're a kid, like, I've always felt uncomfortable with these things. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just being honest about that. Like, I don't have solutions in this scope of the world when you say you don't like something or you think something is wrong, people tell you to have a solution, and I don't have a solution, that doesn't mean that the shit is not wrong. And Jay did some wrong shit too, it's not like he's wrongly accused, but there are people who are wrongly accused who are getting treated the same way. You know, once you have a personal experience with this shit, like most things, it changes. Not that I ever like thought like, oh, don't, don't, that, oh, don't do the crime if you can't do the time shit, it's for the birds. Some of the time associated with these crimes is ridiculous. A lot of people from a lot of places, specifically the black youth, is set up for fucking failure. Kinda hard to hit a home run without a bat. 
these types of things send my brain into like the craziest places. So none of this is even gonna make sense. Some of it probably won't even make the vlog, I'm just talking, but it's just been nonstop, like nonstop. And it's been like an emotional up and down because celebrating with JC and watching one friend get so far in this game and people can think what they want about American Eagle denim, whatever, but like most of those people are pretending that they wear anything else. You know, it's like, okay, maybe you don't wear American Eagle denim. I don't, I'm, I wear mostly koala, as you know. Is there any difference between all these denims? You know, like <laughs> at the end of the day, like, okay, you wear some designer denim. Like, okay, you have blah, blah, blah. By the way, Diesel's going out of business. None of this shit matters. You know, like <clears throat> when you buy a certain pair of denim to impress somebody, like twelve, thirteen hundred dollar denim, it's whatever. Like there are some people who do that and maybe some people get one or two pairs, but a lot of people do wear American Eagle. A lot of people back in the day before there were even really resale shops, in the mall, you would go to American Eagle and get your jeans, and you would go over to fucking Foot Locker to get your shoes. It was all in the same mall anyway. So it's kind of like this reverse engineering of retail and putting everything back in place, like extracting the shit that people want, and now it's been extracted so much that it's in a store. Now it's a one-stop shop. So I think that shit's perfect. Anyway, watching one friend excel, 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 and being like so happy and here to celebrate, and then having my other friend, which is also a happy moment because you get to see him, but he's just like locked down. I guess the real thing is, I'm happy to see both of them. Watching them both make leaps and bounds in their lives. It's just hard to watch one person be stuck in a fucking box. It's almost over and I have like so much work to do as far as preparing to make sure he has like a solid foundation to come home to. So it's weird too because I need the time. 17 months is not that long really, you know, but especially in the sense of building something up for him, like I have to figure out how to get him out of his situation, get him to Colorado or wherever I might be at that point. Who knows? I don't know. Just make sure he's not in harm's way or in a position to just fall back into the same routine and then make sure he's got a job you know make sure he's got something that he can keep his not only just keep him accountable but also you know something to do something to get his mind off of you know anything else you know the same thing that everybody deals with idle hands being the devil's play things yeah it's been a crazy trip there's a lot on my mind and just to give you like a point two percent of what's going on in my head. Omar had to go to the ER the other night, he rushed to the ER because he was breathing heavy, but he's okay. We don't, we think he just ate something and was having just like allergies. Um, he's fine. He's gonna have blood work done next week. And it's just like, just, those are just a, a few of the things. They printed a couple of shirts on a completely wrong color. Like everything came in, it's just like the absolute wrong color. So we have to deal with that. And we, friends and family order is open. So we're like, there's literally a hundred things going on. That is just a little morning monologue before the last day to give you insight on how crazy this is. Love New York City, love JC for bringing me out here and allowing me to parlay a trip to go see Jay. Love Jay, love Mimi. I love Joey too, we're gonna see Joey today. Love Ern, love Alex, love Brandy, love you guys, and really love just like, I just, uh, I love everyone who is been involved in helping me get to this position. I'm just, uh, okay. I'm just uh, super grateful to be able to get to this place in this position. And yeah, it just feels good. It just feels good to be able to help people and to help Jay and to, like, feel like we're really working towards something. It feels real. I love every decision that I made that seems fucking awful at the time. I love every f person who is tried to trespass against me in some way, whether that's like stealing from me, or blackball me from certain things, or push me to the side or marginalize me in any way. Like, I love you because you've put a drive in me that is like unreal and having something as negative as it is and having a way to use my ego to prove shit to people that aren't even worth proving shit has gotten me to a point where I can help hopefully change at least one person's life and if nothing else, man, when Jay comes home, I really think that we have something where we can maybe just like address certain issues. He's obviously black, I'm obviously white. It feels good just to be in this position. I feel recharged, like ready to build again. Charge the fuck up, I'm ready to go. 
I feel like there's not enough of me. I have like, I want to do too much shit. Like I want to just make so much shit and just work, 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 work. Um, yeah, I feel good. Like I feel really, really grateful. I feel really, really super insanely ridiculous. Grateful doesn't even seem like a strong enough word. Like, and I don't want to use the word fortunate. Like I feel like shit just feels good. Like I don't have, like I lost my credit card two days ago and I'm not even upset. I'm just like, whatever. Even though the stress is building, it's starting to feel like weight is getting lifted or at least balanced maybe. At least this weight, the weight of Jay and just like this part, I don't know, this this part of life like is getting balanced. And other parts are too. So it's in this present moment, things are well. And I'm in this present moment. So I'm gonna get ready to hit these streets. <laughs> Baby. Yeah. to the camera here but uh, we stopped here to get some sushi and Teddy's decided to book a flight to Japan one button push away purchase complete Tokyo get ready for oh it's Teddy <laughs> April 2nd through the 17th a little hard to comprehend I didn't know it was real I mean it, it's real but boy that was quick let's see if there's flights to Japan for good prices <laughs> oh here's one. Oh, let me text Alex and I'm going holy shit hey man I feel it, I feel it. I got shit I gotta draw. The excitement's worn off. I need the vibe. I miss the fucking vibes, dog. Yeah, dude. New York doesn't do it for me. Yeah. Denver doesn't do it for me. I can't just keep walking around Denver. I need to explore. Let's go. Let's go. Nah, you guys was on the street. Tour New York City. Yeah. New York City. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Here. We're leaving New York City so we can't take these. This is Denver. Oh, yeah. please. <laughs> nice. What kind of weed is this? Uh, cream. What is it called? Cream. It's like. Oh, space cream. Space cream. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> Headed to JFK, Queens. What's up, fam? I almost left the camera. We almost left the camera. Your fit really matches nicely with the Hertz background. You could feel Japan calling you. Now I'm going back. Now you're going back. Two and a half weeks from now. Yep. No wheels on the private label, so we slot it. Slot it, Raven. Slot it, Raven. Yeah. 